Hey guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to another video tutorial where we are building this CMS application using Angular 10 and ASP.NET Core 3. In the last video tutorial, we added client side libraries using Microsoft's library manager. So in this video tutorial, we will be styling the admin panel or the admin layout of the admin section. If you look at the finished project, you will see that the admin panel has a sidebar, a top bar which contains the user information, a sidebar which contains all the components of, of our application and the center of the application contains a body which holds the details of the components. So for the home page, I have the home page components for the users. I have the users page components which lists all the users in our application and so on. So if we had to click on this home page it collapses and if we had to click back again it expands. So we are going to implement this styling in the admin layout that we have created so it gets implemented on all the pages of our application that we are going to create or all the views that we are going to create. So to do that, first thing I will go back to the application and go to the admin layout and here I will start creating the components for sidebar, the top bar. So to do that, I will implement some partial layouts. So let's go ahead and create partial layout for the sidebar, the top bar. So let's right click on this shared folder, add a new file. I will select a razor view option and then I will name this option as top bar layout. I'll go ahead and add one more partial view and this partial view will hold the sidebar so I will name this as sidebar layout. So let's go ahead and delete these extra comments that are created which we don't need. So now I have two views and I need to show these two views on the home page. So let's go to the admin layout and here in the admin layout I'm going to add these views inside the content div. So here I'm going to copy this and I'm going to add the top bar layout reference to load it partially then I'm also going to add the sidebar which needs to be outside the main content so underscore sidebar layout and here I have reference the two partial view that I have created. Going back to the finished project I also have uh, the other components in the home page that I will do later but for now I have just created the top bar and the sidebar. So let's add the styling required styling to make these views look like what we see in the finished project. So the two layouts have been added referenced in the admin layout page but one more thing that we need to add which I missed was uh, if you look at the finished project it's the footer itself so we also have a footer component so we need to create a partial layout for that as well so I will go ahead and add that in the project so the footer will be placed below your div that is below the render body div so I'm going to place it below the wrapper and here I am going to now create the footer file or the partial layout file for footer so go ahead and do that as well if you need a footer in your application so you can get rid of this and now let's go ahead and add the styling for the sidebar layout so that the sidebar of the application looks something like this. We want all the navbar on the side with the drop downs. So let's go ahead and create that here. So 
So here I have the code for creating the navbar. So here I have added the required HTML to make the sidebar or the navbar component. So it's HTML included with bootstrap classes. So I have some razor tags over here referencing the pages. So this is all we need at the moment in this page. So, okay. So guys, very important thing here to note is this tutorial series doesn't focus on teaching HTML and CSS. The styling of the DOM will have to be done without explaining what each tag means over here. So teaching HTML and CSS is not within the scope of this project. So if you are someone who does not know HTML and CSS, does not know even the basics of HTML and CSS, does not know what is a DOM, does not know what are classes. So I'll recommend you to go ahead and take up a basic HTML and CSS course before you start developing a full-fledged CMS application, web application. It's not that I'm saying that you cannot learn along with me or you cannot do the component build up with me, but I'm not going to explain what these tags are, what is a nav tag in HTML, what is a UL tag and what is a div tag. So you have to learn that yourself. You have to learn the basics of HTML. Similarly, now this component is already built. So I have just paste a navbar component over here. You can find the entire navbar component on the Bootstrap 4's official website. There are lots of components over there. You can copy paste them and then edit the text on them. But here I have used the HTML and I have also used the razor syntax, the tags to call the pages that I want to switch. So now that's it for this component. I will save this. Now I also need to update the top bar component, but let's go ahead and see on the page what exactly do we see at the moment after this component was created or this code was pasted here. So if I go back to the browser and now I try to refresh this page, here you can see that we have uh, a sidebar, but it's not style. It doesn't look like the one we have in the final project because CSS is not yet applied. But if you look at it, 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 it does the drop down, it does the, it does show you the inner components. This is because of the bootstrap classes that I have used. So the styling and the uh, feature is automatically applied with bootstrap. So now let's go ahead and remove this active link component that we have here, which we had created to test bootstrap. So which is inside the home page. So let's go to the home page view and let's get rid of this. We don't need this. I'll save this. Now going back to the admin layout, save this. Now go back to the top bar. In the top bar layout, I need to add the component code for the user information and the uh, icon for collapsing the navbar. So let's go ahead and first of all, create this component code, add this component code. So going back here to the top bar page and here we will add the code for the top bar. So here is the code for the top bar. I have added another nav bar, which is basically an horizontal nav bar, which has the other components that will display the user's name, the option to log out and the options to view the activity, security, and so on in the dropdown. So I've saved this. If I go back to the component itself, now check. I have another dropdown that is created using bootstrap classes. Don't worry about the styling. We will implement the styling. So this component is over here. And now what we need to do is add the styling. Let's also do the footer before we add the styling. So let's go to the footer component and let's add the code for the footer. So here is the bootstrap footer component that I have used. And also one more thing that I want to mention here, you can see the text is 
quite static because I have uh, added this text over here but we would be implementing the component settings component where we will be adding this text dynamically so you can change it from the admin panel and we will come to that point uh, in the upcoming videos tutorial series but now we are just embedding this static text so we can save this go back to the application and let's refresh and we should have the footer over here so styling looks quite off so let's go ahead and implement the css on the page so we'll go back to our project and for the styling we'll add the references in this uh, application had a style partial that i've created so uh, let me go ahead and create this view here add new file let's call this as underscore application had a style partial let's hit new here I'll get rid of this comments I don't need it and here I will add references to the CSS style files so now I'll just paste the style here so in the development version I'm going to use the regular bootstrap CSS and the non-development version I'm going to use the minified version of the bootstrap style so I'm going to save this go back to our project try to refresh it and I will try to inspect while refreshing just to make sure that the CSS file is loading so let me so I have the bootstrap CSS file now loading so now let's go ahead and try to implement the required styling to display these uh, components the way we see it in the uh, final project so going back to the application so for the styling of a project inside the www root folder in the lib folder that I see here I'm going to create a new folder I'm going to call this folder as custom which will hold all the custom styling and JavaScript files so I will create two folders inside the custom folder and let's call these folder as JS for JavaScript files and another folder inside the custom folder and I'll call this folder as CSS for all CSS related files so inside the CSS folder I'm going to create another folder which will hold all the admin panel related CSS styles so here inside the admin folder of the CSS I'm going to add the files for admin CSS so let's create a new file and let's create a option for style sheet call this as admin CSS dot CSS so the admin CSS file is created and here we will add the styling for the admin CSS before we add the styling first let's go to the application header styles partial file and add the reference to the file that we just created in the development and here what we are doing we are saying that we want to load the admin.css file so we will load that file in the uh, non-development version uh, we also want to load this uh, file which is admin.css but we want to load the minified version of the file and I will create a video tutorial very soon which will be showing you guys how to minify or do bundling of your files and then reference them so that will be coming up soon so for now we will not references reference it in the non-development version but we will just reference the development version which is admin.css I'll save this now in going back to the admin.css file here I'm going to reference all the styling that I have used also to mention and give credits to uh, SB admin 2 whose open source templates we have used while creating the style components in our project uh, startbootstrap.com you can find this template here it's open source it's called SB admin 2 and we have referenced the styles from this uh, free template uh, it's free to download only thing that you have to do is reference the add the reference to in your templates uh, in your CSS style sheet to the uh, author 
also notice that they have a pro version over here if you need more components in your application you can review the pro version of SB admin pro uh, there are many other themes that you can find under the th themes and template section so go ahead review this if you want to review it before using the style from this particular free open source uh, project or you can download and create your own admin style and use it so I'm going to go back to the admin.css file and here I'm going to paste the admin.css uh, the styling in the admin.css I have used the uh, styling from the free open source project as well as I have edited this file to use my own styling so and I have also referenced the author in at the bottom of this uh, style sheet so if you are going to use this code you would have to reference this uh, author for using their free code that they have provided us so I'm going to save this and now uh, I have already referenced this style sheet in the application header style and I've added the reference in the layout so let's go ahead and now go back to the admin home page and refresh this so as you can see once I have refreshed this page uh, these styles have been applied and I can see these styles uh, working without any issues let me go to inspect tab go to console and try to reload this page and I have no errors in my console so the images we will add them later when we start adding users the footer appears as well also you as I mentioned you can change the style the color as you like now the thing that is missing is the toggleable uh, or the collapsible uh, icon and to use this icon we need to install another library which is font awesome which I will show you in the next video tutorial and how to make this sidebar collapsible when this button is clicked so we'll do that in the next video tutorial for this video tutorial uh, that should be it all the code will be available in the DevOps repo the reference or the link will be provided in the video description Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel tech howdy if you have any questions use the comment section. Thank you